Hello and welcome to our sixth video on angles. I'm Mr. Chowdhury and so far we've looked at a bunch of angle rules. We've looked at angles on a straight line, we've looked at angles around a point, we've looked at um, opposite angles and now we're going to try and learn another one. If you haven't already watched those videos I suggest you go and watch those first before you come and watch this one. But here's your first task. I've got two shapes here. What I'd like you to do is tell me what the angles are inside this shape and what do you notice about the angles within this shape. Pause the video and have a go at that. Okay, so let's have a look at these shapes. What we have is a rectangle and a parallelogram. Now let's have a look at the angles within the rectangle. Let's have a look at the angles within the rectangle. We know it's a rectangle because we, it's made up of parallel lines and it's got four sides. So we know it's a rectangle and the angles on the inside of this are 90 degrees. They are all the same. Now let's have a look at this parallelogram. Now the, the angles in the parallelogram are very important. They're very distinct. We know that the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal and we know this from our parallelogram rules. Our geometry of parallelograms tell us that the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal uh, and that's what they look like. So these two are equal and these two are equal. So the purple angles are equal and the pink angles are equal. Now what we can notice is something very interesting. While well, all of the angles in a parallelogram add up to 300 and 60. All of the angles in a parallelogram add up to 360. So that means that the pink angle plus the purple angle must be 180 because we'll have two pairs of 180 and it works for our rectangle as well. If you look at the bottom set of angles they would add up to 180, 90 add 90 and the top set of angles they would add up to 180, 90 and 90. Okay so hopefully that makes sense and we're going to move on to something more interesting. What I'd like you to do is draw a set of parallel lines and a transversal and then measure all the interior angles and tell me what you notice. Now a transversal is a straight line that passes through at least two other lines. So for example on our diagram the purple line is our transversal. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, draw a set of parallel lines and a transversal and measure the angles. I've drawn in some angles that you would like to measure for you. So off you go. So let's have a look at my example. The angles that I measured were 72 and 108. Uh, and then I also know that these angles, well, this one's going to be 108 because angles on a straight line add up to 180. But then if I measured it, I got the same as well. And then I know this one would be 72 because angles on a straight line add up to 180 and I measured them. What do we notice about these angles? What do we notice about them? Okay, we may not be able to notice it from the first diagram, but we'll do another one. So I've drawn two angles in there for you. So I've drawn another diagram, set of parallel lines, transversal, measure the angles, what do we notice? Well this time I got 60 and 120. So we're starting to see a pattern here, so I've got 72 and 108, and then I've got 60 and 120. So then, what would A and B be? Pause the video, have a think. So the rule is that if I've got A and B, and we can see from the other angles, I had 72 and 108 and 60 and 120. Well, A plus B must sum to 180 because we can see that in our other diagrams. 72 at 108 gives me 180. 60 at 120 gives me 180. And that's because of this angle fact, that co-interior angles sum to 180. Co-interior angles sum to 180. So we need to understand what makes two angles co-interior. We need to understand what makes two angles co-interior. So angles are co-interior when the lines are parallel. So we can see we've got two sets of parallel lines. Uh, the angles are on the same side of the transversal. So my, here's my transversal. I can see A and B are on the same side of the transversal. Right? They're both on the right of the transversal. And then both angles are interior to the parallel line. So we can see that they're inside the parallel lines. And if we think about it, if we go back to the first task when we looked at that parallelogram, we can see that we basically got a little bit of a parallelogram here, the bottom angles of a parallelogram. We can see it because I've got two sets of parallel lines and the transversal. Angles co-interior, and I'll just say it again, are if the lines are parallel, if the angles are on the same side as the transversal, and if both angles are interior to the parallel lines, then they will be co-interior and they will sum to 180. So here's our first diagram. Let's have a look at it. Do the angles sum to 180? Pause the video. What do you think? Well, let's have a look. I've got a set of parallel lines. So I've got my parallel lines. I've got my transversal. The angles 
are on the same side of the transversal. They are both interior to the parallel lines. So yes, they do sum to 180 because the angles are co-interior. Here's our second diagram. Here's our second diagram. What do you think? Do the angles sum to 180? Well, for this one, the answer is no. And that's because even though we've got a parallel line and we've got our transversal, the angles are on opposite sides of the transversal. And also, one of the angles is interior to the parallel lines, but the blue angle is exterior to the parallel lines. It's not inside. These two angles would actually be equal because they are opposite. We can see that we have two lines that intersect at one point, so these two angles would be equal. And that's a rule we learned in the last video. What about these two? Would they sum to 180? Yes, they would, but for a very different reason. These two angles sum to 180 because they are on a straight line. They're on a straight line, so they sum to 180. They are not co-interior. For them to be co-interior, once again, I'll remind you, they need to be on parallel lines. So there needs to be parallel lines, so there are. They need to be on the same side of the transversal, which they aren't. So here's my transversal in purple. The pink line, the pink angle, sorry, and the blue angle are on opposite sides of the transversal. So even though they are interior, because they don't hit all three criteria of co-interior, they are not co-interior, but they do add up to 180 in this case. What about this one? Well, this one, the lines aren't parallel, so they do not sum to 180. We can't be sure that they sum to 180 because remember, our very first uh, criteria for lines being co-interior is they need to be parallel lines. So there aren't any parallel lines here. They're just two lines. They look parallel, but because we don't have the arrows to denote that they are parallel, we cannot say they're parallel. So even though they're on the same side of the transversal and they are interior to these lines, because the lines aren't parallel, we cannot say that these two angles sum to 180. And here's your last one. Do they sum to 180? And the answer is no, they don't sum to 180. And that's because even though they're on parallel lines, they are on the same side of the transversal, they are not both interior to the parallel lines. The blue one is inside the parallel lines, but the pink one, unfortunately, is not interior to the parallel lines. So hopefully that gives you a really good understanding of what co-interior angles are, what the characteristics of the co-interior angles are. Remember, the characteristics are that they need to be on parallel lines, they need to be on the same side of the transversal, and they need to be interior to the parallel lines. If it fits those three, they are co-interior and they sum to 180. What you can do now is go and watch Mr. Amerson's video and practice answering some questions. Uh, if you're really confident, you can go on Corbett Maths and Dr. Frost and do some questions on there. Go off, be productive, and I'll see you in the next video.